Uh, my name is Mike Kirkwood. I'm the general manager here at Pasco Utility District. We have a great little company here. We have line trucks. Uh, we have line people. We have an office here, a customer service office. And uh, you know, we do a great job serving uh, the needs of about 5,000 people. We were, uh, about three years ago, starting to uh, bump into the limits of the two lines that connect us to the outside world. Our peak load happens you know, during those very, very hot days. We had to take a look at doing something, so we commissioned a study. Their first solution uh, was very expensive. It was to completely rebuild the two, the two lines that serve us. That's where the battery storage solution came in. That's really what made this, non I call it non-wires alternative possible. So batteries allow us to store up energy during a time where uh, there isn't much you know, being utilized by our customers. You can charge the batteries then and you dis discharge them uh, during the high peak times of the day to lower your, your need from elsewhere. And so this particular project um, you know, just became an easy economic solution because it was me addressing the re reliability concern but doing it in the most cost effective manner. It's a three megawatt uh, 3,000 kilowatt battery storage system and just to put it in perspective represents about a quarter, let's say a quarter to a third of, um, of our need. So the main thing that this project does for us is help us maintain reliability for our customers. That's our, our main focus to, to keep our customers happy and to keep the power flowing. We had a great partner uh, in this whole project at Gilitas. Uh, who is the company that we worked with to, uh, to get this battery in place, which was crucial for us. My name is Jeff Perry. I serve as Vice President of Asset Management for Agilitas Energy. Agilitas Energy is a Northeast-based leading developer, owner, and operator of large-scale solar and large-scale battery energy storage systems. I think the big driver for energy storage these days is really the increased penetration of renewable energy on the grid. So as we see more wind and more solar installations, along with that comes a need for more storage. We're able to shift that clean uh, renewable energy to a later time and day. Uh, for utilities, as we've seen here with Pasco, great opportunity to avoid large infrastructure build out such as transmission facilities. Our customers will be very satisfied because um, it keeps their rates as low as possible. And you know, so they want the reliability, but they also want a, a good rate and we provide that. Uh, Rhode Island Office of Energy Resources saved the day for us through creativity of their team. They figured out a, a way for us to be able to finance this. And what made it beautiful was the fact that we were integrating a battery storage project as part of the whole deal let us qualify for the Efficient Buildings Fund financing. There was also some grant money that uh, Office of Energy Resources found for us. They found $250,000 that we could put towards the battery part of the project. You know, it's always a collaboration. The beauty of these things is always in the collaboration that you can find. And I couldn't think of any better partners to work with than I could with Rhode Island Office of Energy Resources. Rhode Island Infrastructure Bank and Agilitas.